So, doing a quick um, update for the week of May 11th. This week we have um, very um, exact Saturn Mars opposition happening in the sky. Um, Saturn is now going retrograde in Scorpio, applying aspect toward Mars moving forward in Taurus. So aspects get really um, powerful and kind of like a vice grip um, when the planets are in retrograde motion and the slower moving planet is going retrograde back toward the faster moving planet, which is what we have now. So Saturn is in a higher degree of orb around 8 degrees of Scorpio and going retrograde back and Mars is at about 4 or 5 degrees of Aries moving forward so it's like the vice is kind of squeezing from two directions this week and it'll it'll be absolutely you know perfect on the 14th and the 15th of this week which is um, like Thursday and Friday um, just in time for then Mercury is going to turn retrograde so some interesting stuff happening. I made a video last week of where Mars and Mercury are still in their dance and Mars and Mercury are going to be dancing back and forth until the middle of July. Mercury is going to go retrograde and then go back over Mars um, on May 19th. Um, Mercury goes retrograde but first part of the week here um, we're going to experience this Saturn-Mars opposition. So you know Mars just went through a lot of stuff. You know Mars was just joined K2 where there was an eclipse, then Mars went through Aries, um, it was joined Venus, it was joined Mercury, a lot of Mars energy, Mars, you know, ruling over Venus and Mercury, which are two relationship planets, Mars going over K2 with eclipses. So a lot of Mars stuff has been happening in the last several months, and the opposition with Saturn really brings into contrast or into opposition the some of the mistakes maybe that we've made with our anger and with our frustration and you know whatnot so we might be feeling some of that humility and be sort of humbled around Mars aggression Mars is also in Taurus now which is less aggressive for sure than being joined K2 and being in Aries so we might feel some of that softening around strong opinions and you know that kind of thing that's been happening the last couple months if that's been happening with you certainly that big eclipse that happened in March polarized a lot of things because it was joined Mars Mars K2 Sun Moon were eclipsed in Pisces and then um, you know Mars carried that into into Aries for the next you know month and a half so now here in early May working toward the middle of May Mars is working into this opposition with Saturn and Scorpio. Um, and so Saturn brings the awareness of consequences and shows, yeah, the long-term effects of what we're doing. Now this is a mutual aspect, a seventh house aspect. There are several different kinds of aspects. Planets will aspect one way, like in one direction, especially the outer planets of Saturn, Mars, and Jupiter. Um, they have special aspects that are just one way, meaning they're not reciprocated. But this is a reciprocal two-way aspect where they're both looking at each other. So Mars looking at Saturn and Scorpio can actually bring some discipline and focus to Saturn retrograde in Scorpio. Um, Saturn has been going retrograde in Scorpio since, um, since um, March 13th. And um, so Mars bringing um, an aspect there onto Saturn can maybe also show the need to just get, you know, disciplined in our solitude and in our sadhana and our spiritual practices and face those um, fears and stresses that Saturn going retrograde in Scorpio has, you know, really brought into our consciousness. Um, and this is a big thing that's happening, so this is something that you may also really feel, you know, a, a um, benefit of this Saturn-Mars um, inter interrelationship um, is Saturn aspect being aspected by Mars brings about discipline into our into our plans, into our long-term plans. 
So any Mars Saturn um, influences when they influence each other can bring about the potential for spiritual practice and sadhana because both of them are about destroying something, killing it and breaking it and strengthening it eventually, hopefully. But again, the things that suffer are the are the gent, are the more gentle things in life. Um, in, in particular, our relations with others can get tense. So watch that this week. Um, it also may show again simply because um, Saturn tends to humble us wherever he aspects. Um, so he's he can be humbling to Mars for sure. Not long after, by the way. Um, we're going to get a Saturn-Sun opposition. Also, um, that'll be coming um, sometime next week um, when the Sun keeps moving um, in, into uh, Taurus. He'll be aspected by Saturn the, the, like around this time next week. Uh, so Saturn-Sun opposition is also it's a humbling influence. You know, Saturn shows the consequences and that we have to live with what we do and you know Mars tends to get really amped up in the moment and then we can break things and his his energy becomes hard to hold it, it it's hard to stay jacked up on adrenaline and anger eventually it starts to wane and when it starts to wane influence of Saturn brings in the consequences of of what we're doing or what we've done. You know, and this is how Saturn and Mars rule the tamasic part of the brain. They rule the kind of reptile brain, the fight or flight response. Mars is the fight response, but we can only fight for so long, right? And it actually, you know, it, it can make us sick. Adrenaline is a poison. It's poisonous to us. So adrenaline is what makes Mars able to fight and able to withstand pain and able to inflict pain without feeling it this is why it's a this is why it's difficult because when we're angry or when we're getting triggered and if we're protecting ourselves through anger and not facing you know we often do this because we don't want to face the pain ourselves especially if we have this old wiring these old wounds our fears get triggered and this old response kicks in it's often the first instinct is to fight to destroy the thing that's threatening us or that we perceive to be threatening us. Actually, the thing that's being threatened is the ego and the protective strategy. Often, oftentimes, our first instinct, which is to fight and to win the argument rather than look at what we're trying to protect, you know, we can really destroy relationships and situations that way and Mars makes us numb. It numbs us to the pain we're causing to others. It literally does. It's the same energy that that allows you to, you know, get punched in the face or get shot or get stabbed when you're fighting for your life and literally not feel it. So physically, we can be numb in a in a in a in an altercation, and also emotionally, we're numb to the pain we're causing when we're protecting our ego and arguing and fighting and arguing with someone. It's easy to justify it. Well, you did it to me, so, or you did this, and we get this very black and white, and we're, we don't realize the pain we're causing to the other person. We're numb to it. Saturn also creates a numbing feeling. Saturn is the numbness that comes where we have to numb ourselves to consequences that are maybe bigger than we think we can handle. You see people who, like, survive these remarkable ordeals. Like, how in the world did you get through that? Well, because we had to kind of numb ourselves to the pain, like people in hostage situations or concentration camps. Like, how do they survive? Well, you, they just become sort of canatonic and sort of numb. Part of us, we can survive immense pain um, this way. But Saturn also, um, when he influences... Um, planets brings out the sensitivity um, you know that's underneath that sort of numbing effect it gives us the capacity to handle pain and to endure pain both Saturn and Mars do as the Tomasic planets but they also make us very sensitive particularly Saturn because Saturn is the 
is the is the planet of our of our suffering. And once we've suffered, we are sensitive to others who suffer, and we're sensitive to the mistakes we make. If we're just trying to protect ourselves from looking bad or from making a mistake, you know, because we're afraid that if we look weak, someone might dominate us, or that that lower form of Saturn. Again, we 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 have to be numb to our circumstances and numb to the pain we're causing in order to do that. So again, there could be quite a bit of this the next, you know, during this week of May May 11th as Saturn and Mars aspect each other in opposition. Um, we'll see the aspect get the most intense on the 14th and the 15th. So I hope this is helpful. Um, have a good week.